So in mid lactation, so that's cows in and around 100 to 200 days in milk, um, decline in milk yield is expected to be around 2.5% per week or 10% per, per month from where it was at, at at peak. So a more severe drop than this indicates an energy deficit in the diet. So if decline in yield is very severe at this time of the year, it does have implications for milk production in later lactation that need to be considered. So key to this then is grass quality and quantity on the farm. If milk yield is dropping more than the expected 2.5% per week, grass quality and quantity are really key to addressing this issue. There's a direct link between grass digestibility and grass dry matter intake and therefore milk yield and also some milk quality. So what I'd say is to, uh, to assess grass quality and quantity on the farm, to seek help in doing this. And then based on that information, you can decide then if cows need to be supplemented or what kind of supplementation is best to use. And it's very important to remember that energy in the supplement is more important than protein at this time of the year. For younger stock or replacement heifers on the farm, it's really ensuring that they're on good quality grass and that they're meeting their targets. And one of the first targets we consider is around six months of age, that heifers should be around 30% of their mature live weight. So it's knowing the mature live weight of the cows on the herd, in the herd and making sure that the heifers are, are uh, achieving that. Preferential treatment needs to be given to maybe later calves born or also calves that have maybe fallen behind target to ensure that, you know, they, they catch up with the rest. Because, you know, there's clear evidence there to show that animals that fall behind targets that are not meeting weight for age will not uh, hit puberty when you want and won't be bred at that, you know, uh, 330, 340 kilos next spring as we would hope to achieve. So another aspect then is just from a health perspective, ensuring that animals are wormed and that that's up to date, uh, because obviously those animals are not going to thrive if, if they have health issues.